In your group, see if you can now figure this one out. It says the combustion of octane. Write the balanced equation for when carbon dioxide is a reactant and when carbon monoxide is a reactant. Okay, so I want you to write actually two balanced equations. Okay, two. One of them when carbon dioxide is a reactant and one of them when carbon monoxide is a reactant. Okay, so just given those words, you ought to be able at this point in time be able to write that down. Okay, so why don't you um, see about that? Okay, all right, so um, octane, you've memorized your alkanes. And so octane, the, the oct for eight, so remember octopus has eight legs, right? Octane has eight carbons. So um, the formula for octane is C8H18, okay? And we're gonna write down two different equations. One, when you have, uh, when carbon dioxide is, a, is a, a reactant, okay? And since it's combustion in both cases, we have the same reactants, same reactants, we're just going to end up with different products. And in this case, we're in a situation where we have a limited supply of oxygen. Someone would have to tell you that, okay, for you to know that carbon monoxide is going to be a, um, a product. All right, so in this case, I know my product is going to be carbon dioxide and water. And in this case, it's going to be carbon monoxide and water. And so what you need to do there is balance those equations, okay? When you get to the situation where you have larger molecules, bigger numbers, it gets sometimes it gets a little bit tricky, especially if you have um, an odd number, as you do in this case. You have three oxygens on this side and two on that side, and you've got eight carbon and 18 hydrogen, and you know all this craziness. Um, the thing to do for these types of combustion reactions is always balance the carbon first. Okay, balance the oxygen last. And normally, if you follow that pattern, you're just fine. Carbon first, then hydrogen, then oxygen. So carbon here, we need uh, eight. Hydrogen, we need nine. Okay, and then when we do that, we end up with seven. And let me see, uh, eight times two is 16 plus nine, 25 um, oxygen on this side. And we have two oxygen on that side. So that's a tricky mess because um, this is a small odd number, and this is a big, excuse me, small even number, and this is a big odd number. There's a little um, trick you can use to balancing in this way, and that is, it's like it's kind of like solving, you know, linear equations. You can uh, multiply this oxygen O2 by a fraction 25 halves, and 25 halves. My plus is in the way here, but if it weren't, I'd put a 25 halves right in front of that oxygen, and. When we're looking at molecules, we don't think that we can, you know, have a half of a molecule in an equation because molecules come as whole units. Um, but as we'll see when we move on to the next uh, couple chapters down the road, we can interpret these coefficients as individual uh, molecules, 25 halves molecules, or in terms of, of units. And the unit that's normally used in chemistry is the mole. All right, don't worry about that right now, but uh, some of you may have that prior knowledge. We'll talk about the mole later on. Right now, we're just thinking of this as in terms of units, individuals. You know, one octane molecule, um, you know, 25 halves molecules of, of oxygen, and you just can't leave that fraction in there. It doesn't make any sense in that way because you can't have a half of a molecule. So what you can do, though, is you just use it as a problem-solving tool to get things balanced. Now you have 25 halves times 2 is 25 is balanced. Then you just clear the fraction just like any kind of algebraic work. Multiply two by, times both sides of the equation, and then it'll come balanced. The fraction clears, and there you go, it's balanced, okay? You can do the same thing for this particular equation. Take time out right now to figure it out yourself. I'm not gonna go through the details of it, I'm just gonna give you the answer. Um, in this case, if we have um, let me see, whoops, how did I mess that up? They, they, I have made some sort of a strange mistake here. Oh, no, no, I did it right. That's right. That's right. Okay. That's right. Very good. Okay. The answer for this one where carbon monoxide is the product, you can, um, work it out yourself. Stop the tape. Don't look at my answer until you've had a chance to work it out yourself because I don't want to spoil it for you. Plus, okay, 
All right, so once you work it out, this is what you should get for your, um, whoops, whoops, whoops. Yeah, for your answer, that's right. And so in this case, we have 17 oxygen, and in this case, 25, and that's the difference.